An update on the Eric Amarola situation. Christopher Bell can't keep a secret. Josh Berry, maybe to the Wood Brothers. And Joe Custer talks about the future of the Haas factory team. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. So the other day I talked about Eric Almirola. Where in the world is Eric Almirola? Has he been dropped by Joe Gibbs Racing? Is he missing? Do we need to send out a search party? Well, Toby Christie reached out to Joe Gibbs Racing on Friday and was told by a representative from the team that Eric Almirola is still part of the team. He'll be back in the Xfinity car July 20th at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, a little over two months since the last time he was in the car at the middle of May in Darlington. He was supposed to be in the car at Charlotte the week after they withdrew him from the car, replacing him with Taylor Gray. So what it sounds like is maybe Maybe some sponsorship things changed over there. The driver lineup had to adjust for that. And guys that were supposed to run a portion of the schedule or certain races then got switched around. And now Eric Almirola will be back in the car. So, of course, I posted that, you know, everything I heard was that he would not be back in the car. Still fully trust everybody that told me that information because they've been right before. But sometimes things change and maybe something happened here. Is there more to the story than just, you know, potentially having to move sponsorship deals around and people having to change up their races? Possibly. Maybe, but if the team says he's going to be back in the car July 20th, then we'll wait and see for him on July 20th. And I honestly, I think it's good to Eric Almirola's in the Xfinity Series at the end of the day. So I hope he is back in that car come Indianapolis. So moving on from that to the other information that came out on Friday in regards to uh, Christopher Bell, Chase Briscoe, Josh Berry, uh, the future of the Haas factory team. We're going to start with Christopher Bell. Christopher Bell turns out he's the reason that IT sends around those phishing emails and he would 100% fail the test every single time by the looks of it because I don't think you can tell this guy a secret at all because when he was talking during his media availability on Friday at New Hampshire, he said, yeah, you talk about a veteran leadership. And he said, and then when Chase gets in that car and he stopped himself, take a look at the video real quick. You know, and, and whenever Chase comes into the car. <laughs> yeah, not very often in the moment you see somebody catch themselves and be like, I messed up right here. Joe Gibbs is going to give me a biblical dressing down, at least verbally, uh, because he let the cat out of the bag right there. Uh, Kyle Larson had a great tweet afterwards, and he said, congratulations to Chase Elliott on his uh, switch to Joe Gibbs Racing, which Hilarious tweet. I'm sure there were some people out there that absolutely did not understand that at all. The hashtag D19 instead of the uh, the dig, DI9, that Chase's team always puts out after his tweets was, again, just, you know, cherry on top of it. Kyle Larson, great at social media. They should let him tweet more often. Maybe not, but it always is entertaining when he does do it. But no, it will be Chase Briscoe in that 19 car, which we all have known. We're just waiting for a formal announcement at this point. And Chris Rebell just kind of let the cat out of the bag. And now everybody knows that he is actually going over there. It's like when Austin Hill spoiled the uh, Joe Gibbs Racing Sheldon Creed news last year, except he did that out of spite because he just hates Sheldon Creed. Uh, Chris Rebell did it because, well, he's just excited to apparently have Chase Briscoe as a teammate, which, I mean, both are dirt guys. So, Chase Briscoe to the 19, that's confirmed. We're just waiting for it to be confirmed, confirmed. Uh, you know, like a opposite of double secret probation. Just, we need it to be confirmed, confirmed by the team at this point. Other news that came out on Friday. Josh Berry has reportedly had talks with the Wood Brothers, according to Adam Stern at the Sports Business Journal. Josh Berry is rep by Kevin Harvick Incorporated Management. KHI Management uh, represents Josh Berry. Also represents Harrison Burton, who's currently in that seat. So kind of negotiated and put one of their guys back in that car. Harrison Burton was announced to be to KHI management back in 2016. I haven't seen anything to change to, that he's not part of that group anymore. But if he isn't, my apologies. Um, if he is, again, not a conflict of interest. It's more like, well, we have to put the best guy forward here. And they apparently think that might be Josh Berry. But for the Wood Brothers, that would be a major get for them. I've been thinking about a few things a lot. Party subs, Josh Berry to the Wood brother's been on my mind a decent amount party subs specifically because like i saw a picture of a party sub the other day and i don't know if you guys ever had those like four or five foot long like party subs that you have birthday parties or gatherings or whatever i don't do they still make them anymore that felt like a very 2000s trend early 2000s at that honestly i kind of miss it do i need that much sub in my life absolutely not i mean i think if you have too much subway that can sometimes be a bad thing for certain people out there so but do i want a four foot sub absolutely like why would you not want that at this point Point. But back to the Josh Berry situation real quick. I've been thinking a lot about Josh Berry, potential landing spots, and the Wood Brothers makes a ton of sense. The Wood Brothers are racers. John Wood just took it over. He wants to, uh, you know, establish the Wood Brothers back to kind of where it needs to be. And having a rookie driver that struggled massively in his NASCAR Cup Series career, that being Harrison Burton, just hasn't worked out for them. Josh Berry has looked really strong, at least, uh, you know, as the season has progressed now with Stuart Haas Racing, with Rodney Childers uh, on top of the box. Josh Berry is a racer. 
racer. The Wood Brothers are racers. These are guys that just want to go out there and grind. And Josh Berry is the perfect guy to put in that seat. And if you can get a combo deal out of this, like a $5 value meal that McDonald's is offering, you can get Rodney Childers in that package with it. You absolutely have to do it. It's like getting a burger and nuggets all at the same time. Yeah, you want that combination every single time because it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And I don't know if Rodney Childers is part of the Wood Brothers plans. I don't know if Rodney Childers wants to continue doing crew chiefing stuff. He said that he wants to continue to work with Josh Berry. And if they can, they're able to land him over there, Josh Berry and Rodney Childers, that is a match made in heaven for the Wood Brothers. And that honestly should really help them try to continue climbing the ladder after they've had a pretty decent fall off since Ryan Blaney left at the end of the 2017 season. They're still chasing that 100th victory, right? They won at Pocono in 2017 with Blaney. That was their 99th. Now they're waiting for their 100th victory as a team. And Josh Berry with Rodney Childers can absolutely get them that win just that they're together. I still think Josh Berry can eventually get them that 100th win, but having Rodney with them would really help things out. So not sure if that's actually going to happen. Obviously, Justin Haley's name had been linked heavily by the uh, door bumper clear couch racer guys. Justin Haley refuted that, said that he is committed to Rick Ware Racing. How long is he committed to them? Yeah, he didn't necessarily say that, but Josh Berry to the 21 makes a lot of sense. He fits the vibe of that team. He's a racer, and then having him you know, help them try to bring the program back up, I think makes a lot of sense at the end of the day. And Josh said earlier this week that he feels a lot more confident about his future plans than he did a few weeks ago. And he hopes to have something announced in the next few weeks. So hopefully, you know, he does land on his feet in the cup series because I think the guy is a cup talent, um, especially even though his age is older than some of these other guys. I still think that he is a formidable prospect in the NASCAR cup series. Speaking of other things that are happening in the Cup Series, well, and the Xfinity Series, on Thursday afternoon, obviously, Gene Haas threw a wrench into everybody's plans by announcing that he would retain one of the Stuart Haas Racing Charters, field a one-car NASCAR Cup Series team in 2025, and a two-car NASCAR Xfinity Series team, maintaining uh, operations out of the Stuart Haas Racing Shop, and it would be called the Haas Factory Team. Well, Bob Pockris caught up with Joe Custer on Friday at New Hampshire and kind of asked him where things are standing at. So the, right now, the plan is for the team to remain with Ford. They will have the one car NASCAR Cup Series team. Right now, there's no alliances um, set up between any of the other teams. There's, you know, nothing in place at the moment. Obviously, things can change there. Haas Automation is expected to be the full sponsor of that Cup Series car. Who will the driver be? I think all signs are pointing to Cole Custer. Cole on Friday in his press conference said it'd be an honor to drive that car. But, you know, right now I'm focused on the Xfinity Series car. So, I, you know, it's a pretty safe bet that Cole Custer uh, will likely be in that car. He had been linked heavily to the Front Row Motorsports um, 34 car that Michael McDowell has vacated, uh, along with his Haas sponsorship. Obviously, things have now changed. Now, who will their Xfinity Series drivers be? They're looking for sponsors. They're looking for drivers on the Xfinity Series side because it's fully expected that they're going to lose Riley Herbst as well to a possible Cup Series ride in 2025. So they're looking for drivers and sponsors down there. But it sounds like the Haas Factory team will kind of just continue on kind of a lot like what we see now from the Stuart Haas Racing team. And in the Xfinity Series, SHR does provide a lot of the cars and you know equipment for the other Ford teams, that being AM Racing and uh, Ryan Sieg's team. So it makes sense for them to continue on as Ford just from a business standpoint. So it was a pretty busy Friday afternoon. So let me know in the comments what you think about all of these things that have happened on Friday. The Eric Amarola situation, Chris Bell letting the cat out of the bag. Uh, You have Josh Berry potentially to the Wood Brothers and the Haas Factory team and kind of their future going in 2025 and beyond. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.